Hi, I'm Shannon Ponton, your personal Tough Mudder coach, training specifically to what needs to be done. So by that I mean, if you're training for a marathon, there's no use jumping in the pool and starting to run. The same as preparing for Tough Mudder, there's no use jumping out on the road and running for 20 kilometres. It's going to leave you underdone. For this event, we need short bursts of running, only about a kilometre at a time. We're going to need teamwork, we're going to need some upper body strength, some lower body strength, and I need to prepare you for getting through mud and things like that. One of the elements you're going to have to deal with is the resistance of mud. Pulling your feet out of cloggy, boggy mud. I know it sounds horrible, but we need to prepare for it. Why not get down onto the beach, get yourself into some sand and run in soft sand. Another awesome way to do it, even more specific, is find yourself a creek and start running in the mud in the creek. You're going to have to deal with some extra weight from your heavy, wet clothes. Grab a backpack, put some light weights in there and try a couple of exercise sessions with that on. You're going to have to get used to running on uneven ground. Doing 20Ks on the highway is not going to help you. It's going to leave you underdone. Get out on a track, get out in the bush and get your feet used to unlevel, unsteady ground that will shift under your feet. The ligaments and connective tissue in your legs need to adjust. Remember, we want to protect you on race day. There's no need for running 5, 10 Ks continually. We've got short bursts here. It's very hard to get into a running rhythm on the course. You're going to be stop start, you're going to be talking to people along the way. So shorter, sharper intervals are way better. Now on the course, you're going to end up in all sorts of weird and wonderful positions helping people out. So get your body used to moving through space. Practice pulling people up, whether it's off the ground, whether it's over a fence. I've given you some examples in the other videos of how to increase your grip strength and your rope pulling power. So practice those as well. And for all you control freaks out there, let it go. You can't control everything. We can't control this rain. If mother nature sends us some rain, jump in puddles. Now as daunting as tough mother may seem, if you break it down to small manageable chunks, be creative with your training, but be specific. You're going to be ready to hit the mud before you know it. Go on, guys. Pick it up, pick it up. 